and uh, allow me to introduce the moderator for Indonesia. Our uh, moderator for Indonesia is our brother Theopilus Atmadi Opi. He is the president coordinator for Indonesia. Uh, Theo works in a factory producing stainless steel scrubber as finance director. He is happily married, thanks be to God, and they have a son and a daughter. Both are already working. Brother Theo is also the coordinator for justice and peace of the Asia-Pacific Council of Lay Dominican Fraternities. Brother Theo and our brothers and sisters in Indonesia, uh, it's your time. The floor is yours. Thank you, Brother Harold. Thank you also to my dear Dr. Bellen who gave this opportunity to us all to meet here through the Zoom. And also thanks for Father Raj all because this nice, very nice song. So not to, I will introduce a little about Indonesian Lay Dominican. We, the first chapter was established, canonically established on August 2017. So it's just only six years, so very young still. At that time, we have around 100 members but now already grown until 300 members with 80 perpetually professed. We are spread in six cities in Java Island and four cities in Borneo, Kalimantan Island. Later, our presenter from the other group maybe can share also the activities and all. We have in so kindly turn on your mic. Turn on your mic, please. You have been oh, muted, sorry, brother. sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, Brother Herod. Thank you, Dr. Bella Tanko, for this nice opportunity. And thank you, Father Raj. Yeah. Now, shall we continue with the presentation we have six group to present yes or okay. five or six and the first is from the rosa delima community from jakarta that will be represented by anna elisa opi she is a young lady just married after getting her psychiatry specialist and now she is very active in the Lay Dominican, also will practice as a medical doctor. Anna, where are you, Anna? Yes, I'm here. <laughs> okay. Uh, is it my turn now? Yeah, is it my turn now? Brother Fitz, can you give the authority to share for Anna that she can share also the power yes, it's all, yes, 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 it's already Anna. Yes, it's Thank you. Okay, um, hello everyone. Yeah, um, hello Father Raj. Uh, hello yes, brothers yeah. and sisters uh, from around Asia Pacific. This is my first time um, attending Common Study and also my first time presenting. Um, so I will be here. Uh, can I share my screen now? Yeah. Oh, um, am I allowed to share my screen? It will yes, be in, yes, uh, Sister for... Anna. You can go ahead. You, yes. can, you can share. It's already. Um, it's, it's not open yet, I think. Condividere schermo. It's not open yet. Uh, it's it's already open here. Uh, yeah. You, oh, okay. you can now oh. share. I cannot share it. Okay, I'll just. Uh. Uh, 
um i don't know but um in my computer it's um i'm still not allowed to share yeah, uh, I just I just um talk then. Is that okay? Uh, so or maybe brother Theo can help me uh, because the you have the file too. Okay, okay. Let me try to share. Mm -hmm. But maybe you can you can try again. <laughs> We have opened uh, multiple participants can share. Uh, oh, okay, I did. I get. I just cannot find the function. Okay, yeah. uh, if you yeah, have okay. difficulties in opening, you could uh, share very briefly about the activities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Thank you, Father Raj. Yeah, okay. Um. Yes, um, earlier on we have received uh, your material um, so that we can uh, discuss and reflect uh, first before coming here. Um, first of all, of course, it um, talks about the, uh, the Trinity, the Holy Trinity. We reflected that uh, we, man, without the help of grace, has difficulties relating to God, to the to God, the Trinity. Um, first, we, uh, we know that Man rejected God the Father uh, through the sin of Adam and Eve, and then man rejected God the Son as represented by the Jews. And even now, um, I think we still reject God in the form of uh, we sometimes don't cooperate uh, with, with the Holy Spirit or we ignore uh, the Holy Spirit. So it's a it's a rejection of uh, the Himself. And, well, we are hoping that through baptism and moreover, by becoming lay Dominicans, we are hoping to relate better, better to the Trinity. Because, uh, like what Father Raj said earlier, our calling as a lay Dominican is uh, deepening of our uh, baptismal consecration. Um, each member of the Dominican family is uh, different, and uh, his or her own person. So each uh, each one has uh, their own characters. Just like each person of the Trinity is, it's not the same. Um, they're one God, but uh, the Father is not the Son, and the Son is not the Holy Spirit, and the Son is not the Father. However, both communities are bound by love and living in the community of love, and so. It's a standard of living for Dominicans. It should be the standard, but in reality, it sometimes it's difficult to um, express that. Um, the love between the Father and the Son is so alive that it precedes the Holy Spirit. Um, our expressions of love as lay Dominicans must also be so alive, so real, and so tangible that it touches other people's lives and transforms them. That's why. Um, we although although um, love itself is like Saint Augustine says ever ancient ever new, but we need to keep finding um, new ways to express that love that is um, that are um, suitable to our to our times. Now um, we focus especially uh, uh, on uh, lay Dominicans and their families, our families. Now as lay Dominicans, we ought to radiate the love. And the grace of God to the rest of our family. Um, now, this is um, one of the, should I say, the most difficult aspect the Dominican because um, we realize that each member of the family still has free will, so they are free to reject uh, love and grace from God that, well, supposedly radiates from us. Um, now, um, there's a pitfall here. Uh, we uh, there's a danger that we judge um, fellow members of the lay Dominicans by how their families look to us, by how well behaved their children look to us. But um, we need to realize that uh, our families may be far from the ideal picture, and if they are so, then. Um, it is an opportunity to self-reflect and correct ourselves, so to pay attentively for them. And it's also, of course, 
to purify ourselves because who knows we might be eclipsed our light might be eclipsed by something and so we need um, to keep purifying and removing that obstacle well these are um, some of our uh, lifelong self-reflections um, are there specific things expected from our families that might be different from families of other Christian lay people? Um, this, uh, this is not uh, for us to answer now if we don't have time, but um, you reflected that this is a lifelong question, lifelong conversation that we all we need to renew continuously. Um, and as lay Dominicans uh, with many roles in families, parishes, in, in the workforce, how should our, our lives be ordered? Now we need to remember that first of all, we are, uh, we are, we are Catholics. So our center, first and foremost, is God um, in our Catholic faith. And we leave that to the Dominican spirituality. Um, we need to keep reminding ourselves of that because sometimes we think that we, um, we put other other things before God, like our, other things before our patients. Yeah, that's um, that's uh, what we need to keep in mind always. Um, I think that's all from our community. We won't we won't uh, waste the time for longer. Um, I hope that's edifying enough for you. And thank you. Pray for me and pray for us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Emma. <clears throat> So, let us continue, Brother Her. Okay, we will go to the second community, that is the chapter from Surabaya, the St. Thomas Aquinas chapter. The presentation will be held by Sister Sylvia Gosali Ope. She is also young and energetic, graduated from the United States, and now she is the secretary of the St. Thomas Aquinas chapter in Surabaya. Please. Thank Please. you so much. Can you all hear me? Hello. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes, yes. My name is Sylvia Gozali and I'm representing uh, chapter St. Thomas Aquinas in Surabaya as well as the com community of St. Rose de Lima, Surabaya. Uh, thank you for this opportunity and uh, allow me to share screen, okay? Just a second. I am nervous. Okay, it's okay. okay. We are all with you, okay. Uh, can everybody see this? Yes, yes. All right, thank you. Um, we were given a topic, uh, we were given the material of Father Raj, which, which was, which is wonderful and it helps us a lot. And after our discussion, we came to an agreement, and that is, oh, ah, yes. So basically, we believe that the order of preachers was founded uh, because of God's will. So the order of preachers did not just happen like that. The order of preachers was founded because of God's will through his chosen one, uh, his chosen person, and who is St. Dominic. And this similarly, to be a Dominican lay does not happen solely because of one's accord. We may have different reasons uh, of joining the order, but deep down we have a longing to be closer to God. We have a longing to know more about God so in a way we are answering the father's call to live in imitation of his son's life through the guidance of the holy spirit and as a lay dominican we make a promise to god to achieve holiness by living the spirituality of saint dominic god the father continuously motivates us to follow his footsteps God the Son has given us an example through his holy life and God the Holy Spirit always guides us to understand God's will for us. So just like uh, Father Rods said, lay Dominicans are the chosen people who have been blessed by the Father to walk on the footsteps of Saint Dominic. 
to leave the Dominican spirituality and to assimilate the Dominican charism so that they could reach out to animate and to sustain the entrusted mission. Uh, there were some questions given to us. The first one was, why, what attracted us to be a part of the Dominican family? Especially in these challenging times, a lot of people are more focused on worldly life. So it's either we search for God or we stay away from God. And while searching for God, we found Dominican families uh, with the spirituality that is to us complete and also balanced. So it's not just about praying and praying and praying, but we also, the Dominican families also are always ready to be sent on missions, uh, both spiritually and corporeal. And also uh, Dominican families, uh, one of the spiritualities is to study and we study because we want to know the truth about God so that we can preach the truth. Uh, and so in addition, we also, we also see that the Dominican families regularly come together in the local chapter before, well, before the COVID-19, we come together and we study, we, we help each other in the community. We help each other uh, in, uh, I mean, we, we are close-knitted family. I mean, we, we are close to one another, although we, although we came from different backgrounds. So that's also what uh, attracts us to become a Dominican family. And then uh, we have the next question, which is, what we expect when we decided to become a part of the Dominican order. Some of us, we want, some of us want to find clear guidance on living a life of faith. Uh, and because OP, order of preachers, we preach, we want to be more courageous preacher, both internally and also externally. And we, want to find a family with the same faith so that we can grow together in faith. And also, uh, one of the attraction is that we have people who always pray for us, especially when we die. So, and lastly, we want to receive a special blessing, just like what Father Raj mentioned just now, on the day of, of the profession, when we make a promise to God, to be and to live as a Dominican lay. Uh, next question. After joining the Dominican lay, have there been any changes in our values, ways, and uniqueness in relation to God? Well, obviously, yes. Uh, we deepen our baptismal call through the promise to be a lay Dominican by building a habit of living the four pillars. As you know, uh, before we didn't some of us didn't know about the divine office now we started praying the divine office uh, we take the Eucharist and the Bible uh, even more seriously so they both take a special place in our hearts and we read the Bible we reflect on it and we pray the rosary uh, regularly and we also study even more just like i mentioned just now we want to learn more about the truth of our faith so that we can grow in holiness of life with a greater dependency of god as for the community life uh, we have we are expected to be an example to the parish community so we also do a lot of community activities especially before the COVID unfortunately after the COVID it's been restricted but we still try to uh, do community work we, we choose ministry, ministry outside the Paris to reach, as many, to reach out as many people as possible and um, we 
individually and collectively constantly going out of the way to prepare ourselves for the work of charity and we as individual also are willing to share uh, that joy with others as for apostolic life we are ready and we are willing to serve and proclaim God anytime um, Members in our family also uh, experience a newness of life being close to God. Uh, even our neighbors and acquaintances also experience an impact from us being uh, after becoming a Dominican lay. And so the next one, uh, what will we do after becoming a part of the Dominican lay? Obviously, we want to be. Uh, we want to be a better Catholic by living the Dominican spirituality, and by becoming a Dominican lay, we learn to contemplate more, so that we can be closer to God, so that we can find out what His will is for us, and we want to deepen our relationships with God, and we want to take more parts in the community life and to achieve holiness within oneself and encourage others to do the same. And lastly, we want to be a light wherever we are. So that's all my presentation, our presentation. Thank you so much for the, this opportunity. I hope it's helpful. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you, Sylvia. Nice presentation thank you so we go further for the next this will be presented by mr chris santos penny hello mateo yes he's ever study in uh, manila yeah <laughs> yes was uh, at and one then, time yeah and then he got his engineering uh, industrial engineering and yes. also the master degree in Jakarta, yeah. He, okay, he will represent for three groups, so uh, let us stay close with him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So thank you so much, uh, Brother Theo, Pateo. Many thanks also for the guidance, for uh, encouraging us. Because here in Indonesia, as we know, uh, we are still at the very infant stage of the laity. As Pateo mentioned, no, it was only to 2017. No, uh, it was uh, happening here in Indonesia. So uh, me myself, uh, Fanny Calix, I'll be uh, representing the result of the sharing the the reflections from the Martin de Porres community, the Bernardo Scamaca, the beatified Bernardo Scamaca. And also the Pope Pius the Fifth. No? So all of us here is uh, sitting here in Jakarta. Although some of the of the community members are actually uh, 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 running from other cities as well, no? in Surabaya, Jogja, Malang, and so forth. So uh, there were twenty seven of us here. Uh, we've been sharing uh, the material that we received. So at the current uh, when we receive it, uh, we were. Uh, 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 it was not an easy part to to digest the material, but I think with the today, uh, when it was presented, it was shared, then we feel very much grateful, no? especially like Father Mas, uh, Manes uh, share, no? Father Raj share with us that actually we received the in-depth blessing no? right away when we joined the Dominican lady. And it is not that uh, uh, we want it, but God, call us no? it's like god calls saint dominic the holy trinity calls saint dominic and uh, therefore with us also no? god call us to join the dominican family so uh very much grateful and uh, now we are going to share the four key items that was assigned uh, by pa Theo, uh for our groups so there were four guiding questions here uh yep what makes you interested to be part of the Dominican family? No? So uh, we are sharing each other and people's, uh, uh, the brothers and sisters say that 
mostly uh, we were joining the Dominican lay, the Dominican family because of the figures, the personalities uh, of the fam of the Dominican family members by itself. No, the priests, of course, uh, we have Father Andre here, Father Adrian, uh, Robini, and some other uh, fathers. No, and I think the millennials here. We have these uh, youngsters here in Indonesia, uh, people between 25 to 35. So we like this YouTube priest, no? uh, Father Bayu. No? So a lot of subscribers are there uh, subscribing to hear more uh, uh, the good words no? spread by Father Bayu no? through this uh, YouTube social media. The sisters, nonetheless, of course, uh, the, 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 the missions are performed in the education and also the taking care of the uh, poor in need and so on. No? And of course, also the person that are close to us that ask us to join together. The next also the traditions left by the Dominicans. No? So actually the Dominicans, I just also newly knew it that uh, some of the brothers shared that hey, actually Dominicans were here 500 years back. No? So it was 500 years back. So it was in the eastern part of Indonesia in Larantuka or Flores Island, no? where uh, of course uh, afterwards, uh, Dominican was not there and moved to the other region in Southeast Asia. So there were uh, Semana Santa. Uh, this is a procession, long procession happened in the Holy Week uh, before the Easter, where the people there will do the processions uh, along the streets, going through the boat before later on put the Mother Mary inside the cathedral so that people can pray there. So you can uh, browse and look for a more detail on these uh, uh, traditions uh, left. The next also the community life. No? So uh, people from the outside sees that actually there's a strong bound, there's a strong uh, support each other among the, the, the Dominican uh, lay members. So they later on become interested also to join. Therefore, also it goes with me. No? So uh, I came also to join because of the community life reason. The next, uh, the Dominican value, no? spiritual life found on the publications, no? the, the, the books, the publications, the translations. Of course, in Indonesia, we are not here uh, English spoken country, uh, but uh, once it is translated, I think we have also Dominican publishing there. Uh, sitting with the various good uh, books no? so people can read and understand more. And last but not least, the Dominican missions, no? praying for the sick, praying uh, uh, for the souls no? uh, who have left us. Some others be joining because of the special devotion to the Holy Mary. No? So they were with Legion of Mary, uh, St. Louis Marti, uh, Alphonsus Marie de Ligori, and later on found that uh, Dominican uh, received this special blessing from the from Mother Mary, huh? so it was very beautiful. Huh? The next uh, reflections. So after you are joining, uh, seeing. So what are the changes? Huh? The values, the uniqueness happens between uh, your relation huh? between yourself and the God huh? when you join the Dominican family. So uh, some people feel being enriched. Uh, some others uh, community supports no, among each other. So, uh, you know, uh, doing things constantly about the uh, spiritual life, sometimes, you know, people get bored. And, you know, uh, reminding and inviting back the uh, fellow community. Uh, so it's part of the, of the community supports. No? We feel it. The next, the Dominican spiritual life and also strengthened by Saint Dominic uh, spirituality. So, uh, yes, yes, Bu. So, uh, this is the second guiding, guiding, uh, guiding questions. The next is the, the expectations. No? So, once we are joining, so what do you want to do? No? So, uh, some of the brothers or sisters said that. Actually, I joined the Dominican family because of we want to be consistent no? uh, to live the four pillars. So this is the, uh, like Father Raj mentioned, no? the salvation of souls, the bringing up the kingdom of God. And sometimes we think very difficult. No, We need to torture ourselves. You know, uh, we need to do a lot of uh, 
tough things no, to become holy. But actually, there, the, the, the pillars are there. It's clear. And uh, we just need to do it uh, on on consistent way. So uh, these are one of the expectations. Spiritual life Im improvement. Uh, yeah, we need uh, more deeper no? uh, when we pray, uh, when we join the spiritual service, uh, service and so on and so forth. Personal salvations, I think uh, these are actually uh, mentioned several times in our discussions because uh, praying for the people who have left away. No? So uh, there's a special room there. No? And, and, and I think the brothers and sisters in the communities do uh, appreciate for that one as a key char characteristic of the Dominican family here in Indonesia. Uh, peaceful life salvation of souls no so we were some of the of the sister also share with us that uh with the four pillars the study the prayer community and so forth she can also actually save the families no? imagine that so the mother was actually about to left the catholic church and she was she feel that i am so young no? i i just don't know many many things but when joining the Dominican family, there were study, you know, uh, teachings, uh, learning more in depth, going in depth and run into action no, on how to perform the, the holy life. And actually, this moved the whole family. No? So I think this one tally with what Father Raj have shared, no? countless blessing when we joined the, the Dominican family. So she felt the family being shaped. And now she invites uh, her family member, the mother, the father, and also others, brother and sister, to participate more. So uh, this is the third uh, guiding questions. The next, uh, what are you going to do after joining the Dominican family? Of course, this is the, uh, the good news. No? The Dominican finally uh, here after 500 years back and now on to 2017 putting on the food no on on the dominican lady and this one is uh, good news and we want to invite more and more people to join the dominican family the second one uh to follow the, the saint dominic way of life no so it, i think uh, I, i'm we feel very much blessed because this is the special year no the eighth centenary, uh, centenary uh, dies natalis of the saint dominic uh, thank you so much also for having Father Raj sharing this one. And also it's uh, my first also to see Father Gerard no? uh, face to face. The next, this one also interesting actually, to write and publish a book of St. Dominic. So we have Brother Patrick in our uh, community that said, hey, there is none, uh, not so much information no, on St. Dominic in Bahasa. So like, okay, why not we uh, uh, put a book on St. Dominic? So uh, if uh, there are a lot of uh, reference or some others, you, uh, please, brothers and sisters, you may also share with uh, Brother Patrick in our community. So uh, hopefully he can also uh, complete no, the, his personal task actually this year. The next uh, consistent way of living, no? some other brothers and sisters who, who before joining the Dominican family, he was also joining another lay uh a, a, a lay family no? so he's, he sees that actually the consistent way of uh, doing the eucharist the prayer the study together the preaching and so on uh bring so much uh, uh touch no? for his personal life and also people surrounds him so i think that's the 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 sharing from the three uh, communities in jakarta here martin de Porres, the beautiful saints uh beato bernardus kamaka beatified and also the pope pius the fifth thank you so much pateo maraming salamat grazie thank you Crisantus. nice presentation Brother and sister, we still have two more from Indonesia to share. Hope that you all can stay with us. And next is Brother Adi from Yogyakarta. He will also represent for two groups from Jogja and from Cirebon. Please, Brother Adi, he is the president from the chapter of Yogyakarta. Please, brother. Thank you, Brother I start to read the result of the, the reflection from two groups. 
uh, uh, to Jakarta and Cirebon. The first reflection, the, uh, the question, what attracted? Because of the least of the hours, and then study as the wild of, of its pillars. Next, uh, to be closer to God, take the Catholic faith more seriously, learn to be humble and to emulate Saint Dominic. The second question, what is changing after joining? There is a strong awareness to pray for the spirit, service for the salvation of soul in other communities, get deeper in prayer, adoration, and rosary, more diligent study to get to know God more deeply, more diligent in the morning and evening meditation. Number three, my expectation, get new community to grow together and study, hoping to listen more and more to God's will, hope for salvation of soul for yourself and others. And also, more united with God himself because he has strong longing. She is Saint Dominic as an example in everyday life. The last question of reflection, I will do. Commit and be faithful in prayer and rosary. Strengthen its other and grow in faith in God. Contribute to community development. Harmonize the four pillars of Dominican in everyday life. Given lay apostolate in active in neighborhood and parishes. More diligent study and contemplation as a basis for preaching. I think that is all. Thank you, Brother Dave. Thank you, Brother Adi. Short and clear. Now, the last one, last but not least, we will have the presentation from the community Giorgio Frasati from Jakarta also. This will be represented by Brother Rendra Wibowo. Please, Brother Rendra, are you ready? Okay, Patil, thank you very much for this opportunity. May I share my presentation here? Here's my presentation. Hopefully my audio is clear. Brothers and sisters, hello. Thank you for the opportunity given to us to share our result, our group discussion uh, based on this, uh, our common community questions. First of all, I would like to introduce our Dominican lay community based in Jakarta, which is inspired by blessed Pierre Giorgio Frasati, uh, whose quotes that inspiring us are, the end for which we are created invited us to walk a road that is surely shown with a lot of thorns, but it is not said. Through even the sorrow, it is illuminated by joy. And the other one is, the higher we go, the better we shall hear the voice of Christ. We are six members in the community and have been with Dominican community for about one year now. So it's a uh, new. So there is still a lot of to learn from us on how to be a good Dominican. Uh, this is uh, what we are want to presenting. Most of us interested to join the Dominican since we knew and got to know some of Dominican priests, such as uh, Father uh, Nantes, Father and uh, Andrew, uh, non Seraphim, and touched by how they made themselves available to help and serve us whenever we need them. They have shown us on how to be a trustworthy servant of God. It reminds us uh, that we are all servants of Christ and steward of the mysteries of God. By 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 4. Before we join the Dominican, we believe that the purpose of our life is praise, respect God, and to be his servant on what we, are, we do through his words. Prayer, witnessing, and fellowship, as long as we're focusing on Jesus Christ and living with Him. But now, when we have joined Dominican, it is becoming more deepened. Our belief can now be translated more specifically through Saint Dominic, 
who has shown us on how to have intimate relationship with God, the Holy Trinity, and Mother Mary, the Queen of Heaven, through four pillars, study, prayer, community, and preaching. We can also learn from many saints on how they live for the Holy Trinity. We really hope that the greatest love of the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, can be reflected from our Dominican's way of life through the life and prayer of our Holy Priest of God, Saint Dominic. We will strive to make Saint Dominic vision a living reality. For us, it is just the beginning of our metanoia process, which has to be carried out through our entire lifetime, a constant going beyond the mind so uh, as to open ourselves up to dimension of mystery of God through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Brothers and sisters, we now would like to end our sharing with St. Dominic quote. In his vision, when he met the beggar who said, you are my companion and must walk with me. If we hold together, no earthly power can withstand us. Now we are together, feel certain the Holy Trinity is giving us his grace that we need to walk through the path shown by St. Dominic to have an eternal life together with the Father, the Son, and all the same, and angels in his kingdom with our motto, Laudare. Benedicere, predicare. Please allow me to sing just a little bit of this hymn. Laudare, benedicere, predicare. Laudare, we praise our Lord with our sins. Benedicere. We lift our voice in song, predicare. We proclaim your word to the world. Laudare, benedicere, predicare. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Thank you, brother, for the sharing. Oh, thank you and very I think much. That is all. My brothers and sisters throughout the Asia Pacific, I will give it back now to Brother Harold. Thank you so much for all. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Theo, and our brothers and sisters from Indonesia, ending Thank up with you. a very beautiful song. Indeed, late Dominicans are uh, full of talents. Thank you so much. So,